Mark Lobliner, Viva, Brasil, Puerto Alegre, rocking and rolling, Brigado, me fellow Brazilians. I am doing my thing here. It is day 76 of my legendary prep for my FBB Pro card, and no trip is going to hold me down. In fact, this trip is going to bring me forward because there's so much damn food here. It's ridiculous. Um, I actually was able to get in all my meals today, the Salvation Way, of course. Uh, had breakfast, had some eggs and some fruit and some toast, and uh, then lunch after a Salvation Way and oatmeal uh, little mix, of course. Lunch was a uh, steak at a nice uh, churrascaria. Um, had some steak with some uh, beans and rice, traditional Brazilian food, rocking it out. Then had some more Salvation Way and oats. Trained legs today at a beautiful gym out here in Puerto Alegre. With beautiful gym, um, small, got the job done today, it was leg day, did squats, 405 for reps, going down in the hole, butt touching the ground, brilliant, straight leg deadlifts, my lower back's a little sore from all the flying and stuff, so eased up on those a little bit, only went up to 315 for, you know, five or six reps, leg press all the way down until basically my lower back rounds, again, like I've been saying, I'm focusing on range of motion, while I don't recommend doing that, I'm going light enough. I only go up to about seven or eight plates per side on the leg press. On usually the hammer strength version, if that gives you an idea, because each leg press is different. And uh, I've been rounding my back, but really coming low, hitting the glute and ham insertion, and uh, really getting it done. Got some calves done, and then I was it was over. After that, had some salvation whey. I didn't have any oats left. I ran out. I don't feel like going to the supermarket. Just had a couple extra scoops of whey. It'll turn into carbs eventually, anyway, right? Screw it. It's the off-season. I'll worry about that when I'm competition dieting for those damn North Americans on September 2nd next year. And then my buddy, my boy Newton and I went and got some sushi. And I don't know what I ate, how much I ate. I just know there was a buttload of protein and a good amount of rice. And that's what I love about trying to get in big. Because if it's clean, it's going in my, my machine. It's going in my belly. Other than that, I am going on to some questions of the day. And they just keep getting better and better and better. First off, Happy birthday to G, Kevin G. Garand. Um, he's, a buddy, he's a boy of mine on Facebook. Good dude from what I can tell. He's my e-buddy. Um, here's a question from Spotty Dog on Bodybuilding.com about meat. Sometimes she cooks her meat the same amount of, at, the same amount, and the weight after is radically different. Basically, she overcooks the hell out of it and dehydrates it. Turns into jerky. So it's, it starts out at 9 ounces. It can shrink down. If you're doing this consistently, hey, Rock it out. It's losing some moisture, you're getting some extra protein. If you're still getting results, um, I don't see a reason to change it. The thing about the diabetic exchange is it pretty much preaches consistency. People do the same thing every time. That's why peanut butter and oil are in the same categories. Yeah, the calories are decently different due to the little bit extra carbs and protein. But most people either eat peanut butter or they eat oil or they eat the same amount of servings of each a day. People are, especially bodybuilder types, we're very routine. So if you do this consistently spotty, Keep it up. I'm going to go on to another question of a different type. This is from the Jizz Master from YouTube. The Jizz Master, his Jizz Master 94. Maybe he's Jizz 94 times. I don't know where he got that name, but his mother must be proud. Hey, Mark, when did you lose that V card, if you know what I mean? He's talking about my virginity, meaning when did I first penetrate a vagina? For those of you who didn't know. Um, Essentially, this may make me sound, I don't hide anything um, on these vlogs. I don't really care. I'm, I'm an open book. If I'm going to trust you to um, change your physique and trust in our products, you got to know everything about me. Here goes. This might either make me the biggest dork or the biggest romantic ever. I have only slept with one woman in my life. And, and no men. And definitely no sheep. Um, no, I've slept with one woman in my life. That's my wife. I was 17 years old. And she was 17 years old. And... You know what? I usually am decently against premarital sex. Uh, not against it, but I don't think I would have done it. Um, but for some reason, my wife was, was right. It was, it was perfect. Um, she was the one. I knew I was going to marry her. And for once in my life, I was correct. And for some... See, now I'm starting to tear up. You know, for some stupid reason, she's still with me. Um, so, yeah, you know what? For most kids, I'd say keep it in your pants, but, uh, you know, I'm usually not without words. Uh, Katie's, Katie was just, when I met her, I met her, obviously, I met her as a freshman in high school. Uh, 
She was actually my little sister, if believe it or not, incest-wise. Uh, she was a cheerleader. I was a football player. Basically, she brought my fat-ass candies um, before games when I was a freshman in high school. I was a football player. Um, we were going into our senior year, and uh, she asked me out in AOL, first, AOL Instant Messenger. She asked me out, and uh, I don't know why. And you know what? Ever since that first date, I just knew she was the one. And I'm one to go on instinct. We bought the first house we ever saw. We're instinctual people. And a salvation was founded on instinct that I can change the industry and bring ethics back to the sport nutrition industry. And everything we do is ethics and, I mean, is, is instinct. And she was just the one. And that's why, yeah, I was 17 years old when I lost that V-car. And it was to the only woman I've ever been with. And that's, that's Katie. And uh, just so you're wondering, um, well, she says, I'm the only man she's ever been with. And the UPS and FedEx guy. And sometimes the... USPS guy, but nonetheless, just kidding. Um, so that's that. Tomorrow, my legs hurt right now. Got a great workout after flying. My ankles are swollen. I believe they're called cankles. A slight case of flight-induced edema from, you know, basically coming from Australia then going to Brazil within a week's time. I look like a fat chick from the uh, ankle down. It's awesome. Can't even see my ankle bones. I have shredded thighs and cankles. It's friggin' awesome. Love it. But anyway, tomorrow I got chest. I don't know where I'm going to train. I forgot what city I'm going to be in. Uh, I can look it up right now. Hold on. I got it written down right here on my phone. I am going to be, and I'm leaving. My flight leaves at 6 a.m., so I'm going to get some sleep here. I'm going to be in, shoot, hold on. I'm going to be in Florinop Florinopolis. Okay, Florinopolis, whatever. Um, I'll be there tomorrow. It's a short flight. I'll be there early. Long day. Chest day tomorrow, going to find a way to fit that in. A lot of meetings, another long day. Brazil, this ain't a vacation. This is Cyvation. Y'all take care. Have a good one. Peace.